This video is brought to you by Surfshark. Today's scam was brought to us by one of our loyal viewers named Robin. Robin received a direct message on Instagram from someone calling himself Harrison and proceeded to ignite a relationship with Robin and eventually ask her for money. As a loyal viewer of Trilogy Media, thankfully Robin was already privy to these types of romance scams and she didn't fall for the scammer's tricks. But she did send his contact information to us so we can take it a step further. And now it's time to track him down and expose his face to the world. Brother, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's, Let's do it. <laughs> With us only having Harrison's Instagram handle and Gmail address, this scam bait required a lot more patience than normal. To successfully scam the scammer, we need him to believe that we are a real, fresh victim ready to fall for his tricks. So we created an alias, Susan Shepard, and created an email address and Instagram handle to go with it. We then followed Harrison on Instagram, and sent him an invite on Google Hangouts. It was a bit of a long shot for that to work to engage Harrison, but considering how desperate he was with Robin, we thought maybe we had a chance. Thankfully, his greed got the best of him and he accepted the Google Hangout invite. The next step was for Miss Shepard to confess her infatuation with Harrison and then wait for his scam to commence. Not only did he run with it, but very eagerly so. I was not expecting such eager attempts from him to communicate with Sue. So naturally, I wasn't prepared with any makeup or wardrobe to present myself as Sue on a video call, but he just wouldn't give up. So I answered the video call, blocking the webcam, just so we could see what we could uncover. Thankfully for us, the scammer made a vital mistake during this video call. Hello. 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 How you react? Hello. 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 What Harrison does next is going to shock you, and you're definitely gonna to wanna to watch to the end of this video to see what happens. Along with all the humor and the shenanigans of scam baiting, we do still love to provide safety tips and red flags to look out for to prevent as many scam victims as possible. Doing your research and preventing yourself from being scammed will always be easier than trying to recover your finances after you've been scammed. And this goes for all of your online privacy. One of the best things that you can do to protect yourself online from threats is to use something called a virtual private network or a VPN. And the one we use here at Trilogy Media exclusively is Surfshark. Surfshark is an app and a browser extension that protects your life online and basically lets you place your laptop or your phone anywhere in the world and connect to the internet as if you were in that country. It also adds an extra layer of security when you're online to keep all of your passwords, your photos, your videos safe. 
There's also a cool bonus that allows you to bypass something called geo restrictions, which allows you to access content online as if you were in a different country. So simply change your location and you can access a bunch of different streaming services, 15 different Netflix libraries, just to name a few. We at Trilogy Media think Surfshark is the best VPN, but not only that, they're the only ones that allow you to protect an unlimited number of devices with only one account. If you're online a lot and your privacy is important to you, then you need to get Surfshark right now. And you can get the best deal from us right now on this video at Trilogy Media. There's a link in the description below. And if you use code Trilogy at checkout, you're gonna get 83% off the price, plus three extra months of service for free on top of that. And if all that's not enough, you get a 30 day money back guarantee with Surfshark, so you gotta try this out. Do yourself a favor and click below before this offer goes away. Now, back to Harrison. Persistent. Hello. Do you wanna do you wanna help me? Okay. Can I use your voice? Sure. Hello, can you hear me? Will you just be a woman that's trying to figure out video? Hello. Chat? Only when I unmute it. Hello? Hello. Hello? Yeah. How are you? Good. See, I can't see you. You know, I don't understand you. When, where did you get my Hemi? Just tell him you can't. Hello. Figure, I'm trying to figure out video chat. I'm trying to figure hello? out. I'm trying. Hello. I'm trying to figure out video chat. So where did you get my Hemi on Instagram? Say, I found it. I got it on Instagram. You're really cute. Hello. Hi. I I saw you on Instagram and you're really cute. Okay, where are you from? I'm from California. Really? Yeah. Can I see so, you? So, what is my what is my Instagram name? What is my Instagram name? Harrison. So you're Harrison. Harrison. Can I see you? Do you want to see me? Yes. So let me see you first. Let me see you first, and then I'm gonna send my video camera to you. Just say. I'm can gonna... you can you do some video and send it to me? I'm say okay. Let me try. Hello. Okay. Let let me try. Just do a video of yourself and send it to me. Let me see, okay? I'm I'm trying. Hello. I'm trying. Listen, listen to me. I said you have to video yourself and send it to me. You have to video yourself and send it to me, okay? Can I see you first, though? You know, I don't want to say first. I don't want to say first. Then you're gonna see me. Can I can I see you first, though, please? Like what they told you. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. Okay. Okay, I'm just really shy. I just saw you, and can I see you again? No, 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 no. The video camera is not. The video camera is not allowed. Okay, I can't see you. I can't see you. But I just saw you. Oh, I'm not here. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. <laughs> The scammer is not only eager, but he's very stubborn and extremely persistent. He continues to demand more visual proof of Sue's existence. So we had to take this to the next level. We asked for help from one of our loyal followers, someone right in Sue's demographic. Our helper chose to remain anonymous, but helped us by sending us selfies along with a personalized video for Harrison, just as he asked, allowing us to continue to keep him on the hook. Hi Harrison, this is Susan. I'm looking forward to meeting you later. Bye. As expected, it doesn't take him long to start demanding money. But not to worry, we've got more tricks up our sleeve.
Oh my god. Yeah, my name is I want to tell you that I'm real. I don't want you to think I'm fake to you. I love you so much. You see, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. Because you're the one for me. I love you. You're my happiness. So, I want you to always know that I'm in love. And um, I love you. Okay? There's nothing I can do without you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Take you all over the places. Okay? I love you so much. So, I want you to stay focused to me. And my happiness. And everything. I love you. <laughs> Make me happy. Say you are my happiness. <laughs> love you, honey. So sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Hi, Suzanne. I really love you so much, okay? The next morning, we're back at the office where we have more tools at our disposal, including wigs and wardrobe. Let's see if we can video chat Harrison again, but this time with Susan Shepard in the flesh. Can you see me? Hello. Hello. I love you so much, okay? Yeah, hello. That's what he did last time. Oh, he's showing a different person and talking over the video. What? What an idiot. Hello. Harrison, baby, can you hear me? Yeah, okay, yeah, you just said it for me, okay? I love you so much. Harrison, uh, Harrison, do you see? I have cards, Harrison. This is uh, Google cards. Yeah. yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Harrison. Yeah, yeah I can see it. Oh, wow. You're so, you're so beautiful. How's your day, baby? My day is, very, is so very fantastic, okay? Very fantastic? So, uh, when are, are we planning to meet? Like, what, what are we gonna do, you and me? A pardon? Yeah, when are we gonna meet? Well, are you gonna buy something for me? Like flowers, chocolate, like anything? Listen, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it for you. I'm gonna buy it. I'll set it for you, okay? Okay. Uh, Harrison, so mm -hmm. I have three cards. One, two, three. Is it yeah. enough or should I buy more? How much? How much? How much? It's there right now. Yeah? Harrison, how is the weather? The weather is so fantastic. Fantastic. Because I have a new lingerie, you know, like I have a very beautiful lingerie and I want to show it to you. Can we go by the beach, you and me? 
I know, I know. Listen to me. I know that. I don't really want you to listen to me. I don't really want you to send me the car right now so that I can load it. You know, I'm already out of the internet, okay? Harrison, why are you, 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 you doing, uh, uh, who are you looking at? You're looking at someone, Harrison. You know, you know I told you, I'm risking, I'm risking the video cam. The video camera is not a liar in Syria. That is the reason why I'm looking coming, okay? Harrison, I have, I have my son next to me and uh, I would love that he will say hi to you. Okay, okay. Hi, Harrison. Thank you, thank you very much. You're, you're, uh, my mom is crazy about you. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Hey, Harrison, can I ask you one question? Yes. Um, so I was just doing a little research and, uh, I know I was able, it's, it's funny, I was able to track your location in Nigeria and, uh, your IP address and everything. So how come you're scamming people? You know, I'm not from Nigeria like what they told you. Oh, you're from, from Nigeria. Nigeria. I got a picture of your face too. Pardon? I have to me. I have your real face recorded. We saw your face on camera. That's not a woman, you know. How about you show me your real face? Maybe we can talk to each other. Maybe we can help you, Harrison. Hello. Hello. Yes, Kayan. Yeah, I'm Susan's son. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, I don't know if you heard what I said before, um, but we, uh, it's funny, I was able to track your location in Nigeria, and I got your face right here. So I was wondering, uh, why are you scamming people? It's, it's not funny. It's not funny. What are you doing? Come on, talk to us. <laughs> Hi. Yes. How about you show your real face? I already have it here, so you might as well show. Yeah, let me, so let me, so let me see the real face. Show me. Yeah, we here. It's right here. Who's that? You can talk to me. Yes, I can see. Yeah. Can you see well, us? Is not... You can talk to us. It's well, okay. Why are you scamming people? Why are you doing this? You know, I'm not scamming people. Okay. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. You pretending you're using different pictures on uh, on Instagram and you're scamming people. Oh my god. Get calling back. <laughs> hey, come on. Can you talk to us like Bless normal person? Bless you. Look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's your face. I and then we, you, you're young and beautiful. Why are you not doing like modeling? You're a very handsome guy. Yes, yes. How do you track that picture? Listen, I don't know what people to help me. Listen. Okay? Why are you doing this? Hey, hey, yo, yo, yo! Yo, yo, yo! Yo, 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 yo! It's really sad they think it's funny. Yeah, I know, it's so sad that we're laughing because it's, it's, it's not funny. Listen, can I see your mom? Can I see your mom? This is my mom. This is my mom. Yeah. You want to see mom? I'm going to show you. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you. You want Susan? Yeah, I'm going to show you. Here we go. Susan is coming. Let me see your face. I mean, I already have your face. It's right here. Here we go. But uh, why don't you talk to me for real? I'm willing to pay you to give me information about your scam. Hi. Hello. This, <laughs> this is me. Susan. <laughs> Come, come kiss me, baby. <laughs> Susan. Listen, listen, how do you, how do you, how do you track my picture? How do you track my picture? Oh, I got your picture and your location. I know you're in Nigeria. Listen, listen, how do you track it? Where is the mom? Where is the mom? Listen, listen, I don't want to say the mom. The mom doesn't listen. exist, stupid. I just showed it's you, mom. It's just us. Shut up. Shut the what? Yes, man. <laughs> well, guess what? We're gonna shut you. Oh, I can't wait for the world to see this criminal right here. You see him? The whole world's gonna see this guy scamming people out of love, out of money, out of time. How dare you? Listen, let's cut this bullshit. The stuff that you're doing is despicable. You're stealing people money. You're pretending to be somebody else. Find a job. And you're not very good at it. Yeah, you, you suck a big time. <laughs> 
That voiceover that you do over video, it's the funniest, dumbest, stupidest thing that I ever seen in my life. Fuck yeah. Every scam bait and scammer is different, but with the right patience and perseverance, we can almost always find what makes them tick and what will eventually make them screw up. These romance scams are especially cruel because not only do they cause fear and shame in their victims, but they prey on another very vulnerable emotion. Love. If you are ever communicating with a love interest online that you suspect might not be who they say they are, here's a few things you can look out for. Requests for direct communication. When you are texting or chatting with a love interest on an app, on a dating app, that text message communication is much more secure and protective of your personal information than say if you were actually texting them from your phone number. So naturally, these scammers want to get you away from the dating app and on some kind of direct communication like WhatsApp or even just direct text messages. So it's very important to keep your eye out for requests for this. If the scammer is asking you to uh, move locations for your communication, especially if it's very early on in your communication. Additionally, scammers will almost always try to avoid any kind of face-to-face -face interaction with you. So they'll have a collection of saved photographs, photographs that are not of themselves, that they probably pulled from the internet, that they're using to represent them. Uh, they won't want to video chat you. Oftentimes they won't even want to talk to you on the phone. They want to avoid any kind of communication that's going to give them away. They want to stay as much as they can being uh, without revealing their identity. So via email, messages, and that's why they all, always find a reason. Hey, I'm out of town. Or hey, something has happened. I have an emergency. I'm in a hospital. I cannot talk right now. I'm traveling. They want to keep that mask on. One way you can fight this is to ask them to send you some kind of photo of themselves that has a custom request in it. Like say, hey, send me a, send me a selfie, but uh, hold three fingers up in front of your face and see how they react. If they do it, that's a good thing. If they don't do it or they refuse, they have an excuse not to, big red flag. Go with the story if a uh, scammer is telling you that he lives by the beach. Hey, how about you're gonna walk by the beach and gonna take a picture of that beautiful ocean? Absolutely. And another thing to do is take the photos that they have sent you and do a reverse image search on Google Images. That will bring up a list of results on the internet of where that photo also exists on the internet. So if you find that photo on a bunch of different web pages, there's a pretty good chance that that scammer probably just pulled that photo from some web page or maybe from some other person's dating app. Huge red flag. Also, and probably most importantly, scammers will almost always end up needing something from you. And the timing of this can vary greatly. Sometimes that they, they do it right off the bat. Harrison was asking for money from us almost immediately. Yeah. Other times they might be in it for the long game. They might play this on for weeks or months and actually develop that relationship with you, but they will always need something from you. They'll need money, they'll need help, they'll need access to your accounts for some reason. There is always like an emergency. Something happened, but you're absolutely right. They want to develop that relationship, that feeling that you will like feel bad if something happened to that scammer, to that person that you either fell in love or you develop, uh, developed a relationship. And then you know what? Uh, please send me money because I'm in trouble. Sometimes they need to fix their phone before they can contact you again. Like they, they broke their phone or sometimes they're overseas and they're having some kind of health issue and they need money to, for medical expenses. There's always a thing. I'm Ashton. I'm Mark. And we'll see you next, next time. time.